His Excellency, the Governor of Andhra Pradesh and Chancellor of the University, Sri Vishwabhushan Harjandan Garu, Chief Guest Professor K. N. Chalukumar Garu, Vice Chancellor Danvas Chennai, esteemed members of the Board of Management and Academic Council, distinguished Vice Chancellors of other universities, University of Peters, graduates and their proud parents, faculty, staff and students of the university, representatives of the press and electronic media, distinguished guests, invitees, ladies and gentlemen. It is a proud privilege for me for welcoming you all to this 11th Convocation Ceremony of Sri Venkateshwara Veterinary University for the award of undergraduate, postgraduate and doctorate degrees. It is indeed a great pleasure and honor to welcome the Honorable Governor of Andhra Pradesh and Chancellor of the University, Sri Vishwabhushan Arjunan Garu, on this memorable occasion. You have been recommended, you will, in your daily life and conversation, conduct yourself as becoming members of the University. Do you solemnly and sincerely promise that, to the utmost of your opportunity and ability, you will support and promote the objectives of this University? Do you solemnly and sincerely promise that you will, as far as in, in you lies, accord and advance social justice, national integration and well-being of our country and our fellow men? Let the candidates be now presented. Permit me to present to you these candidates in accordance with the graces of the Board of Management just passed and pray that they may be admitted to the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy in Veterinary Science, Master of Veterinary Science, and Bachelor of Veterinary Science and Animal Husbandry in the Sri Venkateshwara Veterinary University. The number of candidates presented are 12 doctorates, 88 masters, and 215 BBSE and AH graduates. By virtue of the authority vested in me, as Vice Chancellor of Sri Venkateshwara Veterinary University, I admit you to the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy in Veterinary Science, Master of Veterinary Science, and Bachelor of Veterinary Science and Animal Husbandry in this university, and in token thereof, you have been presented with a degree, and I, I authorize you to wear the robes ordained as the in insignia of your degree. You, these candidates, in accordance with the grace of the Board of Management, just passed, and pray that they may be admitted to the degree of Master of Technology, Dairy Technology and Bachelor of Technology, Dairy Technology in the Sri Venkateswara Veterinary University. The number of candidates presented are 1 Master of Technology, Dairy Technology and 35 Bachelor of Technology, Dairy Technology graduates. By virtue of authority vested in me as the Vice Chancellor of Sri Venkateswara Veterinary University, I admit you to the degrees of Master of Technology, Dairy Technology and Bachelor of Technology, Dairy Technology in this university and in token thereof, you have been presented with the degrees and authorize you to wear the robes ordained as insignia of your degree. Dr. K. Rajarajeshwari Gold Medal is awarded to Dr. M. C. Sevapuja for having completed MBAC degree with highest OGPI in the discipline of veterinary microbiology at university level. Chanameda Janaki in Poetry Science with highest OLP at University level. Dr. Amankya Tiwari will receive love. Annually learn for Project Gold Medal of LPD Department College of Veterinary Science, Tirupati. Late Professor K. Satinavandra Gold Medal for best OGP and veterinary physiology. Malaypati Narayanamma and Malaypati Lakshmaya Naidu Memorial Gold Medal for best OGP in animal nutrition. Dr. P. Ramakrishna Reddy Memorial Gold Medal. He is also awarded for the appearing highest OGP at College of Veterinary Science for the two. Dr. V. Pushpam. What? My wife, Dr. V. Pandranga Gold Medal is awarded to Dr. Memorial Gold Medal for highest OGP in Poetry Science at University level.
श्रीमती सत्यम रुक्मणी देवी गोल्ड मेडल इस अवार्ड एक्ट टू रेड्डी बाला भवानी का और बेस्ट आउट गोइंग गर्ल्स नरेश कुमार वर्मा मेमोरियल 1974 बैच गोल्ड मेडल इस अवार्ड एक्ट टू डॉक्टर के हारी का और बेस्ट हिस एक्सेलेंसी द गवर्नर ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश एंड चांसलर श्री वेंकटेश्वर वैद्य यूनिवर्सिटी श्री विश्वभूषण परिचंदन जी डिस्टिंग्यूस्ड वाइस चांसलर ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोफेसर वी पद्मनाभ रेड्डी एस्टीम्ड मेंबर्स ऑफ द बोर्ड ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एंड अकाउंट कमिशन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफिसर other dignitaries students receiving degrees and medals award parents representatives of the prasan media ladies and gentlemen very good morning to all of you <coughs> i deem it to be a great privilege and honor to address the round the convocation of the prestigious sri venkateshwara vetter university tirupati which has established itself not only as a renowned university excelling in three dimensions of teaching research and extension but also has had a visible impact as transformer of the status of the farming community of Andhra Pradesh, especially the livestock farmers. I thank the Honorable Governor of Andhra Pradesh and Chancellor of the University, Vice Chancellor and other university authority for giving the opportunity to share some of my views on this occasion. The convocation ceremony is a crucial milestone as it marks a new beginning of your career. Today, you will be granted degrees and medals which bear testimony to your hard work, perseverance and merit and scholarship. The stars of the convocation are of course the graduates. So I would like to begin by offering all of them my heartiest congratulations with a special word of compliments to those who are receiving awards and medals. Today's chief guest, Professor K. M. Sirvakumar, Vice Chancellor, Professor B. Padana Reddy, members of the Board of Management, members of the Academic Council, university officials, faculty members, recipients of degrees and medals, winners, my dear students, and their proud parents, members of print and electronic media, ladies and gentlemen. My warm greetings to you all. I am indeed delighted to participate in the 11th convocation of Sri Venkateswa Veterinary University Tirupati. At the outset, I call me my heartiest congratulations to all the young men and women on the successful completion of their academic program in veterinary diary and fishery sciences. I also congratulate all the parents, faculty members, and other employees of the university who have directly or indirectly contributed to the success of the student graduating today. It is a momentous occasion for students as a reward for the meticulous hard work over the period of their studentship at the university, culminating in the award of their degrees in today's convocation. This is a day of fulfillment of the parents who invested their efforts in the education to this level. This day is the result of sacrifices of your beloved parents at the cost of their personal happiness and leisure to make sure that you got the best education that leads to better future. This day therefore belongs to them in equal measure. My dear students, with the training and the knowledge that you have gained here, you are entering a new and challenging phases of your life. Some of you may opt for higher studies, while some of you may take up a profession of your choice. The profession that you choose may offer you 
unlimited opportunities to showcase your talents and skills acquired during your stay at the university. Today, the whole world is looking for the young, energetic and quality graduates from India. The great Indian scholar and educationist Bharat Ratna Pandit Badamad Malabda strongly opined that the university is not merely an examining body. It is primarily a nursery of good citizens. He emphasized the diffusion of scientific, technical and professional knowledge on the one hand and the building of the character in youth by making ethics an integral part of education on the other. The new National Education Policy 2020, brought about by Government of India, envisages blood-based, multidisciplinary, holistic, undergraduate education with flexible curriculum, creative combination of subjects, integration of vocational education, and multiple entry and exit options with appropriate certification. This establishes a comprehensive framework that seeks to bring sweeping changes in the Indian education system through four years, that is critical thinking, creativity, communication and collaboration among the faculty and the students. He helps the students to develop competence, capability, capacity building, acquiring skills, expertise, and confidence to start their own enterprise and generate job creators instead of job seekers. In this regard, the Government of India has initiated the Startup India campaign to promote financing for startups and offer incentives to boost entrepreneurship and job creation. In line with the new education policy, the Indian Council of Agriculture Research, New Delhi, has reoriented the syllabus of agriculture and allied subjects, including veterinary, dairy, and fishery for ensuring and assuring employability and to develop entrepreneurs in the respective fields of study. This program was adopted by the state agriculture universities, which include five components, that is, experimental learning, rural awareness work and experiences, in plant training, industrial attachment, hands-on training, skill development training, and other students' projects. All these components are interactive and are con conceptualized for building skills in project development and execution, decision making, individual and team coordination, approach to problem solving, accounting, quality control, marketing and resolving conflicts, etc. I am happy to know that the students of the university, dairy and fishery sciences of this university are earning good amount of money during the study period through all I do learn and experimental learning programs every year. 
it gives self confidence to the young minds beginning of their professional career to grow as entrepreneurs i would also like to mention about the role of agriculture and allied science that is veterinary profession in doubling the farmers income the livestock is an integral component of agriculture in india and makes multifaceted contributions to the growth and development of the agricultural sector which includes animal husbandry dairy and fishery sectors livestock health improve food and a nutritional security by providing nutrient rich food products generate income and employment and act as a cushion against crop failure provide dirt power dirt power and manual inputs to the crops subsector and contribute to foreign exchange through exports the national sample survey organization estimates that livestock is the principal source of income to nearly 23% of agricultural households in the country dairying has become an important uh, secondary source of income for millions of rural families particularly for marginal and women farmers as you all our our india is the number one milk producing nation in the world since 1998 i compliment the veterinary professionals and farmers for achieving the phenomenal distinction i am happy to note that the andhra pradesh state is blessed with potential diversified water resources with the 970 core kilometer coastline with a potential of 1.74 lakh hectares of brackish water andhra pradesh stood at first place in the fishery sector in india and contributing 7.4% to the state gdp andhra pradesh produces 80% of total milk of india accounting for more than 15.50 million tons andhra pradesh is the largest egg producing state and one out of the five eggs produced produced in india is from andhra pradesh india is blessed with a huge wider diversity indigenous cattle that have survived over hundreds of years in local habitats but unfortunately the number is declining hence the need of the award is to conserve and improve the productivity of our indigenous breeds i am glad to know that this university has taken up measures to conserve the two important cattle breeds of punganur and ango and the native nagalor breed of sheep further the role of extension services especially in the transfer of technology is most crucial for the farmer to realize the gains from technological innovations from the scientist point of view it is important to see that the technology reaches the end user in the rightful manner accordingly the technology developers need to directly involve in technology transfer for its effective dissemination i am happy to know that the faculty 
our students of Sri Venkatesar University are extending technical support to the Army case and also organizing training programs for the needy farmers. My dear students, I believe that the noble profession of veterinary and animal sciences, diet technology and fishery science have a bright future for all of you. I do hope that in the existing highly competitive environment you would be successful and make your parents, teachers, university and our your country proud of your achievements. On this auspicious occasion, I congratulate the Vice Chancellor and the entire team of the University officials, faculty and staff. I wish the students a great success in the future endeavors. Jai.